What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. I was really hoping for some Champions League content for right now, but EA honestly have just done typical EA. Not only have they not given us Champions League content, there's there's not even any new season objectives or anything. Um, there's some new daily objectives, which of course will get completed throughout the 24-hour period. It, wouldn't it be nice just to give us something, something different, even in the daily objectives? If this is what we're going to get every day, I don't know if I could be bothered. Um, where else I'm at with objectives, though? Squad battles, I need to score in three more squad battles games, and then that's done. Um, week one gold, I still need to do Tower of Power, which I will focus on um, eventually, but we still have 10 days to do that. So if I do that accidentally, brilliant. If not, on the final day, uh, I'll go and focus on that to get that done. Uh, Salah's story, we need to complete as well. I have Salah in the club now, so I could quite comfortably go and do that. Um, it, it doesn't have to be rivals, so I could just go and use the loan in friendlies and get that done. So that's more of a case of I'll just do that when I can uh, be bothered almost. And then play online, play and score in 60 rivals games, I'm 57 out of 60 there. So uh, other than that, I'm, I'm done with season objectives. And I just tweeted out, I would like more, right? Um, I know we've talked about this a lot before, and I know for some of you guys, you can't even complete what's here now. I feel like EA have done a good job in catering for the casuals and the players' base that is a little bit above casual level with that end on Bele and just with the objectives in general. Oktoberfest was quite nice, gave some good packs. Um, you know, week one bronze and silver for some good XP to get you through the season progress. But they, I, I feel like they've just not ca catered for the hardcore grinders. Like, I would like season objectives where I'm sitting here thinking, I just, I, I don't know how I'm going to do that. You know, like, I want to sit here and be like, I'm going to have to build new teams for this. I'm going to have to play all the different game modes for this. I'm going to have to grind for days to complete this, not a day or two. And then I'm like kind of picking and choosing where I finish off. Um, so that's where I'm at with season objectives. Of course, milestones we're working towards as well, already halfway through the uh, two easy ones there. And uh, yeah, other than the fact that I wanted to provide some um, content for you guys from Champions League, which EA haven't done, they haven't done, they haven't given us anything, like literally nothing. We've got the ones to watch St. Maximin, who I'm not completing. Uh, we've got the Joseph Martinez and Robert Lewandowski, who I'm not completing. Uh, I've done all basic. I'm not doing National Pride because it is 125,000 coins from scratch. It's absurd. And that's where we're at. Um, so I want to show you what my plans are. I've got 90,000 coins up in the top left-hand corner right now. And I've got a new formation that I'm using, which I'm having to swap out a certain player for. I don't want to do that. Custom tactics. There we go. So we've got a new formation and it's the 4-4-2. You'll see some 4-4-2 gameplay in today's video with it as well. Uh, I am playing drop back one depth, specifically because it's just the meta again, sadly. But also because my team, although it's good for this stage in a road to glory doesn't compete for the Mbappes and Neymars and stuff that I continually come up against. Uh, the formation itself looks like this. So we've got Tellez, Semedu, uh, Mtiti and Pepe in the back line. Bruno Fernandes and Fabinho as our centre mids. Felipe Anderson and Pepe on the wings. And then Puki and Torreira up front. And of course, Torreira gets subbed out immediately, usually for Naki Williams, who we packed in an upgrade pack yesterday. My instructions give stay central, get in behind, stay forward on the two attackers. I've got Felipe Anderson as balanced and then Pepe as stay forward, stay wide and get in behind. And then Tellez is on balanced and Semedu is stay back while attacking. So uh, it does create, I suppose, a bit of a gap in between Pepe and Semedu, but they're both super fast anyway, so it's not a big deal. So that's the formation that I'm using. Uh, I'm saving. I, I could go and get um, uh, Lacazette straight away, but he's 115k or so right now. I'm just using bronze packs at the moment. I'll eventually get there through bronze packs. I, I did go and buy a whole bunch of players. Not a whole bunch, but I bought some players. I just want to show you who they were. Uh, so I packed all bound, obviously, from Squad Battles Rewards. I went and bought William Jose because he's an 84 rated inform for 12k. Also went and bought Lecomte, an 84 rated inform for 11.5k. Uh, of course, we had already picked up Serge Aurier. We've still got... I went and bought uh, Thorgan Hazard's ones to watch because... 18k for him I, I i just feel like how good the card is is a bit of a bargain we've still got tammy abraham our first ever inform packed on this account i went and bought uh no sorry we packed with ruben blanco as well and then i went and bought carlos eduardo nope packed him as well i did buy cresswell however ten thousand coins for an 81 rated english premier league inform that's a bargain for him uh malin of course we packed he's untradeable and Fosu, we also pack. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, informs on the account. Some of them are untradeable, some of them are tradable. So I could go and get, of course, um, Lacazette straight away. 
but I, I don't want to... I, I want to just get there organically. I only really need him for the weekend league. Right now, I'm quite happy putting Anaki Williams into the team. He hasn't scored for me yet, mind you. Um, it's mostly because I guess Puki is just banging in the goals. 120 goals and 59 assists in 108 games. Felipe Anderson's done pretty well, 4-3-9. and three and nine, But my other top-tier goal scorer is Pepe. Uh, he, he, he was a really high positive goals game ratio. But since he's been playing right mid instead of right wing, he's dropped down a little bit. 49 goals in 54 games with 19 assists. So again, a great uh, return on him. And then for the rest of this team, I need to upgrade Fabinho. I'd be open to completely changing the look of this team over the next couple of weeks with weekend league rewards and such. Um, I don't know where I'm going to finish in the weekend league. I'm kind of hoping for gold one, but if it's gold two, it's gold two. It's no big deal, but I'm hoping for gold one or better. I am in a decent spot in rivals. Uh, we're, we're pushing towards division three. I'm about 100 points away now, I think. Yeah, 100 points away. So we're getting up there. Uh, of course, the more we grind, the quicker we'll get up to Division 2. And, and I anticipate I'll be in Division 1 quite quickly, and hopefully anyway, uh, maybe even by next week. I want to sit here and grind rivals over the next couple of weeks because I want to make sure that I'm in top condition for, for Weekend League. But I'm just hoping for a Gold 1 minimum Weekend League with the team that I've got. I feel like I should be capable. What's going to be the problem is, is once I get to that like range of form, you know, the sort of plus eight, plus nine form, where I'm then coming up against not only good players, but they're likely to have much better teams than me. That's where it's all of a sudden going to start coming uh, a little bit of a problem. Um, so with that being said, guys, that's where we're at, man. And as I say, I, I just highly expected something from EA today. We got absolutely nothing other than, of course, in typical EA fashion, some packs in the store not a single sbc um no, just nothing so yeah all, all there was was uh some 15k packs i believe put in store yeah some jumbo premium gold packs so that is going to be the uh end of the live section we're going to go into some gameplay and a few more packs right now guys so i will be right back all right guys as we go into some gameplay the first thing we've got going on is wan basaka's move uh, we've also got Rodri's transfer. I got a couple of uh, two-player upgrade packs, and then lots of gameplay. I am still finding my feet in uh, in uh, squad battles, not squad battles in fight rivals. It's it's tricky. I've changed formation for today's video. I'm using the four triple two. I'm subbing out immediately Torreira uh, as we got aboard. I'm subbing out immediately Torreira for uh, Inaki Williams. I'll show you the team tomorrow for that. I got Aaron Gies as my player, which was really sad. However, in the pack as well was Wilfred Zaha. So he got sold on very swiftly for about 40,000 coins. Joe Gomez in there as well. He got moved on for a few thousand coins as well. So what really nice uh, small rare players pack that was. Quite nice indeed. And I'm selling on players like Zaha and when we sold Lucas and stuff as quick as possible because the longer this game goes on, other than the exceptional meta players, the cheaper they're going to get. When I think back specifically to FIFA 18, Mbappe and Gabriel Jesus held their price for quite a long time. Um, but this year, I don't think those 83s are going to. Because specifically someone like Zaha, as the month goes on and people are able to collect that Zaha at the end of season objectives, that's going to be uh, his gold card crashing in price. And uh, just in general, there's there's so much more given out now. Uh, as I thought, by the way, I was like, come on, be bail, be bail. It wasn't, it was Ramsey. But um, yeah, as so much more is getting given out in this game cycle so far, I, d I just can't see the 83s holding their price up in the high 40s and 50s. I have a feeling they're going to start crashing after that first weekend league. They're going to get packed a lot when that first set of rewards comes out. Um, and just in general, people will eclipse them so quick because of how much there is uh, right now available. Um, with that being said, we've got four comments to uh, end off today's video. First one is from Nick Navas. He says, hey, Neb, just wanted to ask you about who your favorite player is so far in Foot 20 and why. Love the content. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you for the kind words, of course. So for me, uh, I won't include like draft and stuff. If, if I do include draft, Mbappe, Neymar, Ronaldo, Messi, who's never usually there, is, is up there as one of my favorite players and Sadio Mane as well is uh, right up there. If we just talk about like my road to glory and, and the players I've got on the road to glory and who I've used, two players really stand out for me. The first one is Pepe. He's just phenomenal. The way he shoots the ball, how quick he is. He's I don't know what his strength actually is, but he's strong on the ball. Uh, four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Uh, you know, he's just, 
he is he is a machine he really is he's just a lot of fun to use and he scores a lot of goals for me but someone who i'm really enjoying and i've enjoyed since day one since we got him in episode what two or whatever is a uh, player of the month pookie I've since switched him from a sniper to a hunter because I, f I feel like pace is far too valuable uh, as we can see that in the 90th minute in this game. Yeah, I feel like pace is far too valuable um, up front in, in FIFA. And so I put the hunter on him and I want to also get Lacazette for my team as well with a hunter on him and to have Lacazette and Pookie up front, Pepe and uh, who's my left mid? Felipe Anderson on the wings. And then Fabinho and Bruno Fernandes in that centre of the park with my back line still staying the same. As you guys well know, we moved away already from the Bundesliga uh, setup down that left-hand side. I just really, really like the, the Liga Nos setup that I've got. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how well it performs in, in weekend league. And, and interestingly, as, as I was saying, with rivals, like I'm struggling, not necessarily because of anything other than the fact that i'm changing a lot of things with my team and my play style I've, I've figured out a few new things today you know I'm, I'm constantly getting better every day i'm moving towards division three already uh when i come up against a team like this guy's got in fuck rivals it but it worries me because it's such a low tier team for a guy who's in a really high division to the point where i'm like he's just he's gonna play good he's just gonna know how to play the game but I am also coming up against a lot of pay-to-win teams. I'm seeing a lot of Mbappes, a lot of Neymars, uh, a lot of Gattusos, actually. I've seen Gattuso like four times over the last couple of days already. And, uh, you know, back lines just full of uh, Titties and Varans and uh, Longlays and Van Dykes and all sorts of like top, top tier uh, centre-backs. And so it's hard sometimes for me to compete, especially since I can't find... My formation, you know, I've tried a few formations and, and I'm struggling to just settle on one. I do think the 4-4-2 is going to be the formation I settle on, but I am going to need better midfielders. Specifically, Fabinho is going to get need to get replaced um, long term because they're, they're just not good enough. So uh, that's another heartbreaking goal to concede right there. But um, so, yeah, in terms of my favorite players, Pookie, guys, he just he just finishes everything. He's clinical. It's a shame he's three star, three star, because if he was four star in either weak foot or skill moves, or if he was, of course, four-star, four-star, I think he might be in my team for a long time. He'd, he'd definitely have the merits to do so. And look look at this kind of team. Again, look at that. We've got Hernandez and Varane in there. Um, Griezmann, Casemiro, and Bappe and Coman. Like, this is the kind of team I'm coming up against constantly in, like, high Division 4, getting towards and pushing towards that Division 3. Um, so those are my, my two favourite players, definitely Pepe and Puki uh, so far. And that new skill move there as well that I just hit with Philippe Anderson to score on the inside. That skill move is just changing my game a fair old amount. Dutch Madness says that Vidal has the most in-game stats of any regular gold card. He's incredible. You really don't need more than 70 pace for a CDM in my opinion. Basic Ken Vidal is the biggest bargain I've seen. I would agree that Vidal looks phenomenal. And I was an umming and ahhing about whether or not I should replace Fabinho with Vidal. Fabinho only has one pace point more than Vidal anyway. The more I play... And the higher ELO I get, the higher ranking I get, the more I recognize that a pacey CDM, I think, is going to be more important than a good defensive quality CDM. Because it's so easy, it's too easy in many regards, to just pass around the slow center CDMs. They just don't track the runs quick enough because, because of how important pace is offensively. That if you even act, you know, if you, basically if you screw up, and, and a lot of it is from human error, but if you screw up in any regard, and that's another phenomenal goal there from Pepe, if you screw up in any regard and switch into that centre midfielder, maybe it's not your fault, maybe auto switching screws you or whatever, um, as soon as you take control of that CDM, they pass around you or skill around you, you are not recovering. And so uh, in my team, I'd never thought I'd say this just a, a week or so into FIFA. Fabinho is my weakest link in my entire team right now. And that's crazy. If you would have said to me, Fabinho would be your weakest link a week or 10 days in on your road to glory, I would have been like, what, did I pack Pele and sell him and just upgrade my team massively? That's crazy. But he's the guy that I'm constantly looking at of, oh, he's let me down again. Oh, he can't control it. Oh, he hasn't passed it very well. Oh, he's too slow. He can't keep up. It's just constant with him, which might be me and it might be confirmation bias. But just generally speaking, yeah, he, he just lets me down a lot. Uh, Diego says, hey, man, I'm struggling with formations this year. And when you mentioned the 3-5-2, I gave it a go and I got quite good in, at it in division rivals. 
but I'm worried that in the weekend league it won't work as well. Do you think it's worth keep practicing that formation or change it to weekend league? What there's, I think there's no problem with playing with it in the weekend league. You know, use it in the weekend league. Why not? All I'd say is that your weekend league finish will be typically relevant to your rivals finish. So if, if it's working well for you in rivals and it's pushing you up the divisions, the only times that you'll struggle with games is when you come up against people on your rivals like ranking during form. So if you get to like plus seven and that's okay, now you're playing against people that are kind of like evenly matched against you. That is when you're going to really struggle against uh, people regardless of the formation. You you could have a 4-4-2 or a 4 triple 2 or a 3-5-2 or a 5-3-2, whatever you want. As uh, Until you get to your skill level, you're just going to comfortably beat people. Uh, you might take the odd loss here or there because you know how this game can be. But yeah, typically you're going to comfortably beat people until you get up to the form level that is where your skill is at. And at that point, it's about learning how to break through that skill barrier, which funnily enough, the last comment was about that. It's from Javier. He says, hey, I'm a below average FIFA player. I started in FIFA 18. My question is, how do I take the step and become a better player? Because we're running out of time here, guys. I'm going to save that comment for tomorrow. And we'll start with that. We'll open with that. But this, guy is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.